Hi, I'm Celeste Roseberry McKibben. I'm so happy to introduce a colleague from Sacramento State University, Professor Keith Haberstock. Professor Haberstock is going to demonstrate an orofacial examination, and I'm so glad that he's with us. Thank you, Dr. Roseberry. Before we begin with the orofacial examination, there are a few things that I'd like to address. First of all, we need to determine what the reason is for an oral facial examination. The purpose of an oral facial examination is to determine if there is a possible structural or functional basis to the speech sound disorder. Secondly, we need to keep in mind of any referrals that we may make depending upon our findings. And lastly, we need to consider our tools. You'll need to have some hand sanitizer readily available or a sink so you can get your hands ready before you put on your, your gloves for the examination. Gloves. Tongue depressors. I use uh, flavored tongue depressors. Also, you can use a sponge tip as well. Flashlight or a pen light. The smaller, the better. A mirror. Uh, this is a rather large mirror. Small dental mirror is fine too. Another item that I like to keep in my toolkit is Mr. Mouth. He's nice to use with small kids um, to give them a little bit more direction as to what you want them to do. Okay, Jeremiah, are you ready for the examination? Yep. All right, good. Now, I have Jeremiah positioned in a very nice way. He's at a good height. I'm able to get a nice, even look at his face and see into his mouth nicely without having to bend down too much. So we're both pretty comfortable, right? All right, Jeremiah, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my gloves on. That's for my safety and yours, even though my hands are clean. Um, the first thing we're going to look at, Jeremiah, is just the symmetry of your face, and I'm noticing that facial structures look nice and symmetrical, your lips are nice and symmetrical. Everything's moving at a nice, um, even and symmetrical pace, so I'm not seeing any neurological problems. At rest, I'm noticing that you're uh, not breathing through your mouth, you're breathing through your nose, and that's, that's a good indication that we don't have any congestion or any type of uh, velopharyngeal insufficiency. I just want you to go ahead and move your jaw from side to side. Good. And can you do it without moving your lips too much, just your jaw? I'm seeing a little bit of difficulty with this association of the jaw and the lips. Uh, go ahead and open up your jaw for me. And close. Good. Nice uh, range of motion. That's good. Jeremiah, open your jaw one more time. Good. I'm looking here for any popping or grinding or TMJ, and I'm noticing it's very nice and smooth. Good. Go ahead and close. Good. And Jeremiah, one more thing I want you to do with your jaw is open it very slowly, just like this. Go ahead. close slowly. Good. Uh, he's showing really nice gradation of movement. I'm not seeing a full open and close. Nice gradation. I'm going to open my tongue depressor, get that ready. Something that I like to do is just open it halfway so I've got the paper holding it. That way I know which side has been in his mouth and which side has been in my hand. Good. His molars are aligned. Good. I'm not seeing an overbite or an underbite. It's looking really nice. I'm seeing that Jeremiah has all of his teeth right now. All right, Jeremiah, that's it for the teeth. So now we're going to move on to the lips, okay? All right, go ahead and I want you to pucker your lips and say, mm, good, big smile, e. nice, nice symmetrical movement. No drooping is noted. Jeremiah, go ahead and give me the two sounds together. Ooh, e. nice and quick, do it two times. Ooh, e. Ooh -wee. Very nice. I'm also noticing that there's no scar tissue with Jeremiah's lips. His lips are nice and full, so everything's looking really good with his lips. No weakness noted. Puff your cheeks out and hold your air in just like this. Okay, go ahead and do that. Good, and relax. No air was escaping through his lips. Now, Jeremiah, I'm going to hold up the mirror under your nose. This is going to help me look for any air escaping through the velopharyngeal port, any nasal emission. If I do see that, I'll see the mirror fog up. Go ahead and puff your cheeks out again and hold it. Very nice and relax. Good. Something else that you may want to look for in regards to lip strength is, do you see any drooling? Jeremiah obviously isn't drooling, so he's got really good lip sensation and awareness and strength. So that's looking very nice. Let's move on to the tongue now, okay? The first thing I want to look at, though, is just the 
The look of the tongue. Go ahead and open your mouth. Good. I'm looking for the color of the tongue. Mm. Looks like a nice pink color. That looks good. I'm looking for any, any movement, any uncontrolled movement. Is it a jerky movement? Are there any fasciculations with your tongue? I'm seeing nice, calm uh, posture. That's really nice. Um, looking at tongue size, nice, normal tongue size. Don't see any um, largeness or smallness to worry about. Now let's take a look at your frenulum, Jeremiah. Go ahead and raise your tongue up. Ah, good. Now I see Jeremiah has a bit of a short frenulum. Touch the tip. Bring your tongue tip right up there. Good. And I noticed you had to close your jaw because um, that tongue uh, is a little um, held down by the shortened frenulum. Go ahead and stick your tongue straight out. Good. And can you stick it straight out without resting on your lips? Okay, good. Bring it to your left. And bring it to your right. Stick it straight out and push on that. Now I don't want you to let me push it back in. Push really hard. Good. You got good strength. Very nice. I'm gonna, going to have you say it a couple sounds. Can I hear the sound la? La. Now ka. Ka. Say la ka la ka la ka. La ka. Good. That's nice anterior posterior movement of the tongue. Not seeing any problems there. Very nice. Let me have you stick your tongue out one more time and all the way out and bring it back in. Good. Bring it back out and back in. Retract it. Good. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to test the strength of your tongue as you move your tongue from left to right. Okay. So stick your tongue out and try to touch that tongue depressor. Push, I'm going to push on your tongue really hard. You keep it out there. Don't let me move it back. Keep it to the side. Don't let me... There you go. Nice and strong. Nice job. Okay, let's go to your right side. Again, stick it way out. And I'm going to push. Don't let me push it back. Keep pushing. You're going to win. You got it. Nice job. There you go, Jeremiah. Okay, now, Jeremiah, let's see how your tongue movement is. I'd like you to move your tongue tip up. Can you touch your lip with that? There you go. All right, Jeremiah, bring your tongue tip out again, and we're going to move it down. Good, very nice movement. No problem with moving it down. That's where the frenulum is actually helping. Good job. All right, Jeremiah, the last thing we're going to do is I want to observe some rapid side-to-side -side movements of your tongue, okay? Really fast, from side to side. Good movement, great. I'm not seeing any problem. That looks nice and normal. The next thing we're going to look at is the uh, pharynx. And we can observe the oropharynx using our pen light and the tongue depressor. I'm going to have Jeremiah open your mouth and give me an ah. Uh. And bring your head up. Good. Ah. Uh. Good. Good. So the oropharynx looks nice, nice color. I'm seeing uh, the tonsils in there. Tonsils look normal. Um, you always want to check to make sure they're present. Um, and you want to check to make sure that if they are enlarged, you'll need to note that and maybe refer to the ENT. Bring your head back a little bit. Open up. Aww. Good. Okay, so I'm looking at the, the color of the palette. looks good. Um, I'm also looking for the alveolar ridge and the rugae uh, to see if, the, if they're very prominent, the little bumps behind your, uh, your upper teeth. I also want to look at the height and width of your palate, and your palate looks perfectly normal. It's not too narrow, it's not too high, it's also not too flat. It looks good. Um, I'm not seeing any growths on the hard palate. I'm not seeing any fistulas. Let me see how your gag reflex is. Can you open up, please? Good. Make sure that you're not going too far back and you're producing a gag. With Jeremiah, he has a normal gag reflex. I don't want to go too far back. Um, but I'm able to get mid, midway to his tongue and he's still fine. So no, no concerns with the gag. The next thing we're going to look at is the soft palate. You open up and give me a very nice ah. Good. I'm seeing nice movement of the soft palate up. Jeremiah's soft palate is, is going up and doing its job to close off that velopharyngeal port. That's nice, nice movement. I'm also seeing that it's symmetrical movement. I'm not seeing any one-sided weakness, um, and uh, disproportionate strength. Let me take a look at your uvula. That's the little part that hangs down in the back of your throat. And 
And one more time, Jeremiah, give me an ah. Good, nice healthy uvula. Sometimes uh, the uvula may deviate to the left and the right. Jeremiah's is hanging nicely in the center. The other thing that I would be listening for is hyper or hyponasality. It's indicative of poor uvulopharyngeal uh, closure. Jeremiah is um, not showing any nasalities, and he's also showing nice uh, soft palate movement. So I think that his soft palate is intact. Okay, and you know what? That's it. We're done.